Welcome back to another Guardian Sales video. Today we're going to switch up the strategy, switch up the order a little bit. Mostly based on feedback I've got from the comments on the YouTube videos. And you guys made some really good points. In Coliseum, I have Marita now as the leader because her weapon skill is better and the Nari weapon skill is not great. And that seems to be working out. Marina, she's doing AoE, which is nice. Um... You know, she's doing AoE, which is nice. Getting some chain CCs and stuff like that off. And I've got uh, Agma hanging out over here, being my first in line because he can reflect damage while he's picking up boxes, which makes him potentially a really good box picker upper. We're getting chain skilled now. And I don't think I was able to get my chain skill off, but hopefully we can get this box before it's all said and done. I'll take that. 66 for 66, we did a ton of damage without even really attacking Nari there. And we got four boxes out of it. The reason originally I did not put um, Augma in the front is because a lot of people start off with uh, Marina, and I didn't want my Augma to fight against Marina's, because even if their gear is even, I feel like he's not gonna win that one. But, and I'd also assume that most Marina's would have better gear than my Augma, because Marina's been around for a very long time, so players have had a lot more of a chance to gear her up. So that's a thought process. But if my goal is just grabbing boxes, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Good God, Bari. Bari, oh man. Counters Marina even with four uh, DPS stacks. It's a little bit rough, but whatever. It's, it's a team situation, fellas. And also, I like to mention it a couple of times because it's relatively new to me. Um, your team party buffs actually work in Arena. I did not think that they did. Of course, Nari's not helping anybody else, really. Although, um, I think the anchor is range damage. I'm not completely sure on that one. And I know that, I think that, what is it, the chain skill of Augma is ranged as well. So that's a little bit of something. But her job is to deal the damage, and, well, for one battle, it seemed to work out. So let's see if we can do that again. But yeah, it makes sense. If, if you're a, a reflex tank, it, you know, picking up boxes is like your, it's your, your duty in life. Reflect a little damage, get some boxes, call it a day. It feels pretty good. And then you don't have to worry about getting kited as well. Interesting. We're seeing a Marvin. Marvin was... Fairly popular early on. Fairly popular early on. Easy to get, easy to upgrade, and he's part of the Earth team. I mean, what, what more do you want? One thing that's nice about the weapon skill is that you don't need line of sight to do it, apparently. I just wanted to test that, and it looks to be the case. It also kind of chases the enemy in some form or another. I'm stunned. I'd like to get a little bit of damage off there. Didn't get my chain skill. But three boxes to two, eh, it could be better. Could be worse, could be better. It's all good. Let's see if we can go finish him off. And then of course, we do have the five star Marina. Um, she has been amazing from the moment I got her and she continues to be amazing. What continues to not be amazing is having to deal with a Bari, so that's not great. I just wanted to throw the anchor before he did that attack, so I get my defense. And then I guess I'll get some more boxes here. I should have thrown the anchor there, but I'm getting greedy. I'm also getting stunned. So what is that? Five boxes to none, and then we have to fight Bari and uh, Marina after this. So let's just go be aggressive. Where you at? I thought she'd be right up there. Maybe she's riding the clock. I don't think it's gonna work out for you. Hmm. Probably could have done that a little bit better. And then hopefully their marina is not geared to the teeth, but I mean, come on now. I've got, uh, maybe she grabbed two boxes while I was hiding in the corner there. Um, or maybe it was the Marvin. I'm already mixing up the battles. I think we'll be all right. Bop, 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 bop. I think the new strategy is doing better. I gotta say. 
we already are getting close to 200 battle medals, so our chance of getting an, another accessory, and we have some reroll stones to make it decent. So we're, we're seeing a little bit of progress there. And my marina is like 10 legendary awakening stones and a couple blue stones away from being fully awakened. So that will be significant as well. And then we're just gonna chill. I don't know if I'm going to rush to max limit break Ogma. He scales so well. Like he just keeps getting better and better, like maybe exponentially. So it does make some sense. Let's see how long can he survive with uh, Bari blasting him in the face. We put our shielding on. Uh, she's going for the box, that's kind of wise. I feel like that is the move for Bari to be doing. And we're gonna die. Huh, I saw the little damage buff go off. But it appears that it should not be the case. I think they're just waiting for the weapon skills. Alright, we can do that too. We're fighting Atinia after this. We got chain skilled there. That's what he's waiting for. So we're fighting Tinny after that, and then a Nari. So we'll see how that goes. We gotta be super aggressive. I just like to stand on their face. We took way too much damage there, though. Even though the projectiles didn't hit anywhere close to us. We took a ton of damage there. This is not a great map to be trying to kite Tinia. So, this is gonna be difficult. But we ended up doing that, that was okay. And then Nari versus Nari, um, there's not going to be much kiting happening here. And this is my last hero as well. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh. A draw. <laughs> I think that means we both lose. Yeah, it's a loss. Draw's a loss. That's kind of funny, though. It is what it is, fellas. But yeah, we're doing considerably better. But Eva is coming soon on the banner. And you got that new guy I've been talking about. I hope that we get the Eva weapon. I'm going to continue doing the 100 gem pulls. Um, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of luck there. There we go. See how this goes. My ability just kind of chases him a little bit. We're going to get stunned here. That's the problem. No, we didn't get stunned. Okay. Can I get the box before the timer? That looks like yes. Four boxes to one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. You and your cool Top Gun cosmetic. I probably should have let that battle go on longer so I could have grabbed more boxes, but whatever. This is our life now. I'll do the run-in thing when I have my weapon skill up. Or do I even need to? Nah, baby girl, you don't touch on boxes. I don't think so. And then Bari's gonna blow me up. 71 Bari, of course it is. Of course it's a 71 Bari. Let me at least get some more boxes. Chip, chop, chip. That's not bad. Not bad. I think you guys can figure out where this is gonna go. So I gotta say, we're getting a little bit more consistent. That's all I was hoping for, really. Bop, bop, bop. I don't see a number indicator on my defense buff. So it's kind of hard to tell how much my defense buff has been stacked up. But I think it's, it's probably good enough testing. And is this the last one? 
I am aware a lot of you guys have um, suggested or advised that if you reset your Camazon battle, if you see it's not going the way that you want, you can reset it, and it's like it never happened. You get to try again and change your team. And I'm aware of it. It's just not a play style that I want. It's just unfortunate that the developers have coded the game in that way to make that basically part of the play style. I assume they did it to help people that have disconnect issues so you're not burning your tickets for no reason. So I get it, but... The problem is, the way that the game mode works is you if you want to push to your highest potential, you have basically made it mandatory for people to do that, which is not a, not a great experience. Yay, we got the box first. Not a great experience. This is not the play style I'm going for. But one of the problems is you walk in, it doesn't tell you uh, when you're setting your team that the enemies are ranged immune or whatever. Pretty even battle, as you might expect. Um, so you can walk, you can have a ranged team, and you can walk into a team that is just completely ranged immune or has just enough ranged immune enemies in there, and that'll screw you over. So that would be a great reason to reset. It just doesn't feel great as far as the play aspect of it. Um, the way to fix that would be for them to change the names of the enemies or put a little indicator that says this guy is ranged immune. If that actually already is in place and I'm just blind to it, feel free to let me know. Where you going, baby girl? Where you going? She's gonna do her weapon skill on me, but that's okay. Boop. Oh, you don't have the, the, the same weapon? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? Just give me some more boxes. This won't finish in time. Five to one. I don't want, I'm okay with that. What are you following me for, girl? Um, so yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. All I gotta do is just put a little indicator that says, hey, you got some en enemies that are immune to range. And then you don't have to do the exploit thing. I was hoping that he would throw that attack blindly. But looks like I'm gonna eat all that one. That feels great. Bop, bop, bop. I swear if I lose this, I'm going to flip out. Whew. Five buffs to one. My Nari is completely awakened with her weapon, and I still almost lost that. How in the world? I should have started right on top of the guy when the, when the battle started. I shouldn't have. I was hoping I could juke one of the shots and get in real quick, but that was not, that was not the way things were going down. So anyways, things are going well. Let's look at some of these heroes. Hey, you do your you do your attacks per day. Ooh, we got some coffee boys. What's up? Um, do your attacks. You think they've moved the side story button, or was it always there? Maybe it was always there. I don't know why that's weirding me out, but it kind of is. So that was going well. It didn't show um, us collecting the gems from the week resetting. From Colosseum, we got like 2.0. 3k gems and from arena we got like 2.1 and then from guild boss i think we got like 2.7 or something like that i don't know so the gems keep ticking up man um i'm buying my my 100 coffee per day i think and i'm um, doing the 100 gem pulls uh, today I got nothing in the 100 gem pulls, and usually you don't get anything, but you're still getting magic metal currency, you're still getting um, hero crystals, you're still getting mileage currency. But um, I don't know if I mentioned it, whereas I think it was yesterday I did the six 100 gem pulls, I got Lapis, which I don't intend on using, but hey, it's a, it's a three star hero um, that I didn't have, so that's awesome. I got another loopy weapon, so I was able to limit break my current loopy weapon, and then I got um, the Asia weapon, which is actually pretty good. Um, Asia, you can do a really interesting crit team, so we might be seeing something like that in the future. But that's about it. That's all we got. And still working on town stuff. Not too shabby. All right, fellas. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one.